How's it going? Hey, this is uh, William. I've talked to you guys three or four William. times. William, William, what's up, buddy, man? You've re- you've reached your quota. Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. What's, what's up happening? Since I called you guys, I'm kidding, man. What's hey, happening? I got. A, I have a question. I was just thinking about this. So I live in uh, Portland, Oregon, okay. and uh, we don't have any AMC theaters up here, mm. and so we don't have Dolby Cinemas. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> and I. Have you guys been to Dolby Cinemas? I assume you have. Oh, yeah. You yeah. In California and you live in yep. Florida. Mm-hmm. And you guys get all yeah. the theaters. <laughs> Burbank, bur- I, I grew but, uh, up in Burbank when they have all the crazy stuff because all the studios are there. Yeah. Yeah. So, we got both yeah. in the same theater. So my, my question is, how does that compare to like, I guess you guys have very different home theaters, but how, how does it compare to your home theater? Would you mm-hmm. say, great. You know, no, great I mean, question. That's, that's a big question. But. Yeah, sure. All so right. The, big, the biggest thing is we're not trying, we don't have to fill a hundred seat auditorium, you know, mm-hmm. so there's a right. definitely a different dynamic there. Um, I don't have to have a, you know, 30 foot screen to be able to get the same right. immers- immersive level or immersiveness, I guess. Um, you know, of course I think their projectors are brighter than mine. Mine's not the brightest. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. I love, I love the colors on it. I love the detail. It looks very natural, but you know, a well, lot of times their projectors these, are, probably hooked up to three phase power also so <laughs> yeah but they're also a lot of times those like in the dolby cinema i think they're using two christy projectors and so both yeah. of those projectors are in line together so you're getting a lot more output like lumen output from them um right i mean there there are times that i go now i watched maverick in dolby cinema absolutely loved it it was phenomenal it sounded yeah. great I can't wait to check it out on my own home theater. I, um, I, me too. I saw that I had pre-ordered it right after I saw it, mm-hmm. and, uh, which was, you know, like in May. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, I've been watching, or I had to watch it or just a regal that we have here locally. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, and it was really underwhelming on it. Oh, correct. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a 7.1 theater. Sure. And the project, and it was an old school theater, you know, before they started putting risers in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. So everybody's flat. Yeah, like, oh, gosh. Yeah, you have those like seats that go that fold up and down like this or what? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't that bad. It's from like <laughs> the nineties or maybe the eighties. Yeah. So um but uh, I live in a real small town. It's called Oregon yeah. City. You've probably heard of it. It's uh okay. Oregon Trail. So okay. yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh but the the point is is that that it was just a really bad experience and i was sure. sitting there thinking yeah. to myself i was like i knew this was a great movie and i and i knew it had a good soundtrack but the oh, whole yeah. time i was thinking to myself man i wish i could watch it at home. so so check this out uh for me i listened to what was it um i don't remember the exact movie but we rented out the theater for you know mm-hmm. a birthday party and i actually i recorded a little bit of binaural audio so i could kind of compare at home oh no and so this 2002 piracy joe yeah Yeah, exactly uh, i was just just uh just going down just up on lime wire yeah exactly (laughs) well here here's the thing right that particular theater didn't have a great system and when i went home and watched uh the movie you know later on when the movie came out uh i watched it at home and my my sounded better right it sounded yeah, better yeah. than that theater, right? But a well, I guess I could say I like that the way that my uh, sound is tuned, right? I think the tonality is very good. And the theaters, sometimes they may, uh, you know, they may not have it calibrated. Actually, you'd assume that they would have calibrated perfectly, right? But, mm. you know, a lot of times they're calibrated to the X curve. This is a whole different different debate as to whether mm. that's the proper... Uh, curve. A lot of people don't believe so. That's the curve that uh, the Denon uh, or Odyssey is kind of based off of. Anyway, a lot of people don't think that's that's the proper curve. Um, I know right. uh, IMAX. I find very too bright. Right when I go to an IMAX theater, I'm like that's too bright. Like the the sound is too, too shouty. Sh- yeah, too. Sh- mm-hmm. It's not even loud. It's just too bright. So um, I mean, I, I listen to clip speakers, so I'm okay. used to that. There you go. No well, <laughs> so here here's the big difference, though, for me is in a theater just the fact that it's such a huge space it feels different right right it, it's different yeah, yeah, even absolutely. if the the screen is kind of filling the, your same peripheral vision the fact that my screen is 120 inches and that screen is like what 
40 feet or you know yeah. whatever the heck it is right. it's right. a different right. feel right yeah, it feels sure. different you you know that you're far away from the screen yeah. and you know that it's a huge screen and as far as the sound it is still different right the fact that it's a giant space and you have all these big speakers in a pole a, a, you know array like a, array yeah it's a different right. sound but you know you can't get around the physics aspect of it that you're in a, in a large space right yeah. and that no, to me is the possible to replicate at home so and and to me it's that energy right like how much power do they need to to energize this room you feel that power right and to me that's what's exciting about watching in a theater it's so massive and it's just amazing but you know a home theater you it's still enjoyable for a different reason dude i love my home theater you guys, sorry go ahead oh no i'm just saying i think you i've heard enough home theaters that you know definitely there are plenty of them out there that can can easily exceed the experience at a lot of local home theaters especially or i mean local cinemas especially if they're not done yeah. well it's like that's kind of easy right. to do mm. um but the nicer ones like dolby cinema dolby atmos um those theaters like i said they're i'm kind of with you sometimes they're almost too loud because i don't listen to movies at reference and more than likely right. they're pretty close to stinking reference in the theater and so it's pretty loud so um right. uh yeah, so when we used to have a uh, uh, Omnimax, do you guys remember that? It was like the dome that you like went inside of. Oh, and, okay. Uh, um, yeah, we have something you know similar. That's it's mm -hmm. different from IMAX. It's gone yeah. now. It was made. It's, it's same. Yeah, it's gone now because okay. the film format was just mm -hmm. insane, and the cameras were like the size of you know twelve second bugs or something like that. <laughs> they had to use the film the movies. Right. But I, when I was going and looking at those, those watching those movies in the '90s and early 2000s as a kid, I still remember that experience to this yeah. day because that screen was so enormous and it sure. literally took up your entire peripheral vision. And and when yeah. they would, you know, the, there was a movie where they're flying through a canyon in a jet, kind of like Top Gun, mm -hmm. and you felt like you were turning with the screen, mm -hmm. like you're not moving, yeah. but your body right. is playing you have motion because it's taking. Yeah. So much of your visual, <laughs> yeah, all of your visual space. Yeah, basically. exactly. It's all the way to your yeah. peripheral. You know, the right. It's like it's almost like VR. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, at that. I mean, if if but we're anyways. if we're gonna be honest, what, if you're watching a great movie, you're gonna be yeah. in the movie at a certain point. I don't even remember I'm watching in a home theater. Yeah, I'm just yeah. in. I'm just yeah, that's in that's the actual cool. movie itself. I yep. think the secret is to make sure that you don't have anything that takes you out of the movie. That is correct. One hundred percent. You can overdo anything. Right. We were talking about this last night. Like, you can overdo near-field subwoofers. You can overdo um, your tactile transducers. You can overdo your Atmos channels. So you know to where you're going. Oh, that was cool. Well, as soon as you do that, you've taken yourself out of the movie. You know, and that's not the goal yeah. of it. You want to be immersed into it. Everything that you do in your setup should bring you into that movie experience or music experience not take you out of it. So one thing that I, I yeah, do love about the local cinema that you really can't replicate in a home theater is the energy in the room, like from the people. Um, I still remember, right. man, one of the most incredible experiences at a theater was back when um, Avengers Endgame. There were so many times in that movie, man, the whole stinking place just erupted with excitement and that was i mean you can't do that in a theater room you know in a home theater no. so for me for me it was the first time i saw the movie super bad mm -hmm. yeah it's like <laughs> that's funny it's laughs right because <laughs> because nobody knew what it, you know first of all i was literally seven right it, you know it hit me right at the right age it was extra yeah. hilarious for me exactly. but also uh when I was getting that theater, I was there with all these kids that I went to high school with, like yeah. everybody. And, uh, and I'll never forget it because, you know, no, none of us had heard of any of these actors. We didn't know who any of these people were. Mm -hmm. And it was so freaking funny. And yeah. I don't think, and I don't remember ever laughing that hard ever again. Since watching <laughs> that. <laughs> That's it awesome. Was so unexpected. That's really you know? it, right? It's, it's like, who you're with, who you're with, the people you're, you're, yeah. you're with. Even if you don't know who they yeah. are, the fact you're in the same room, 
you can't really replace that. I, to yeah. me, it reminds me if you've ever watched. Uh, I don't know if you watched the uh, American Pie, Michael. And uh, I didn't see that you, one. No, I watched that in the yeah. theater. And so yeah. I'm not going to say the exact thing that happened, but you know, the girl is always saying, uh, "In this one time at band camp, right?" Yeah. And then there's a, the <laughs> last one that she does. This one time at band camp, and then like he's like drinking, he spits out his drink, and I think like yeah. there was a delayed reaction, and everybody's just like, <laughs> "They're all dying." Yeah. Gives me chills thinking about it. Yeah. So I do agree with Michael though. That is very definitely something to said about seeing it with an audience. Yep. Yeah. I like I like both. I mean, I enjoyed Maverick at the theater. Absolutely enjoyed it in Dolby Cinema. But I'm also absolutely going to be incredibly, I think, amazed. Um, hopefully, uh, in my own home theater as well. So looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So okay. Thanks, hey, guys. Take care. Hey, pleasure. Talk to you later. All right, if you would like to join us every week on Mondays at, what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out.